This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond welcoming you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy for today, October the 7th, is a soccer player who actually famously played one season in Major League Soccer for Toronto FC, but left. He's actually currently the under-18s coach at Tottenham, where he made his mark. This man is actually the ninth highest goal scorer in Premier League history, and the sixth highest in Tottenham's history. He actually owns the Premier League record for most goals scored as a substitute with 24. He actually played for England a couple times. Now, actually, his name is Jermaine Defoe, who is now 41 years old. Defoe was born to a father of Dominican heritage and his mother of St. Lucian descent. So he's born in East London and would join some schooling and all that. He was actually enrolled into a National School of Excellence for the Football Association or the main group that had England, England soccer. Anyway, at age 16, he took a big decision to sign pro for West Ham because Charlton actually enrolled them in that school and he was upset and they were upset that West Ham would take him, not Charlton. Charlton was given 1.4 million dollar uh, million pounds compensation. At West Ham he helped the under 19s win the under 19s Premier League title, beating Arsenal. It would take a few years until he debuted for West Ham. And that well, after that, he actually was on a season-long loan to second division or tier two club, no, tier three club, AFC Bournemouth. He would actually score in ten straight matches, tying a post-war record. He would put up 18 goals in 29 appearances for Bournemouth. It was like fantastic. Of course, I was so in love. West Ham decided to bring him back. But it was basically a substitute. He would be West Ham's top scorer, even though that happened with 14 goals and 39 league slash cup appearances. West Ham took seventh in the Premier League, but unfortunately, would get relegated in 2003. So anyway, the foe figured he needed to transfer after the club got relegated. Unfortunately, the fans were not too pleased. And all that. He recanted that thing and began in 2004 with West Ham. Unfortunately, though, he had a lot of problems. He only had 22 matches out of possible 34. But Tottenham felt something of him and would take a fee of six million pounds. Bobby Samora would be actually moved to West Ham from Tottenham. Anyway, it was huge for Jermaine Defoe. Defoe actually scored on his home debut against Portsmouth. I mean, he actually scored six more goals for the rest of the L3 or 4 seasons, scoring seven goals in 15 matches with Tottenham. Well, he would score 13 goals the next year in the Premier League, including a hat trick over Southampton. He knew a lot of things going. He was on a four-year deal with Tottenham in 2005. And he was even in rotation, which was weird. He scored nine goals, though. He was helping Tottenham do well in the UEFA Cup in 2007. And there were rumors that he bit a West Ham player during a game, but no, he already was booked for the incident. And no probes. So anyway, Defoe looked pretty good for Tottenham. And then in January 2008, Portsmouth decided to take a flyer in him for 7.5 million British pounds. 
So, anyway, he would score against Chelsea. And he could not play against Tottenham, of all teams. So, so unfortunately... Portsmouth did well for the 2008 FA Cup. Unfortunately, because Defoe had played for Tottenham in a couple of FA Cup games, he was cup-tied and meant that he could not compete for Portsmouth, despite the fact that they they won the League Cup against Chelsea. But he was given a winner's medal 10 years later. So anyway, in 12 appearances for Portsmouth, he scored eight goals. But just about a year after he left, Ports, uh, left for Portsmouth, he came back to Tottenham. Defoe wanted to leave the team in the near future. Tottenham decided to give him a chance. There was like 15 million pounds on that one. So he did his job and all of that. He helped Tottenham get to the League Cup final. And fortunately for him though, Tottenham won that title. Unfortunately he missed the League Cup final because he was injured. But he still did well for Tottenham in the 09-10 season. He scored the second fastest hat trick in Premier League history with three goals in seven minutes against Wigan. But he actually scored a few more goals, getting five in all. In fact, only Elton Shearer and Andy Cole got the five goals in one game in the Premier League, although Berbatov and Aguero would equalize this beat. Jermaine Defoe looked huge with 24 goals in the 2009-2010 season. Anyway, he looked pretty decent all that as a Twenty eleven twelve he kept going for Tottenham and scored seventeen goals. Twenty thirteen he scored fifteen. Twenty fourteen he was made to be a substitute. But he would be cleared to be a first team striker in most of them. All that. And Jermaine Defoe broke the record for most goals in in, in inter domestic competitions with t European competitions with 23. Anyway, January 2014, Tottenham announced that Jermaine Defoe would be leaving to join the MLS. And not just for any team. My hometown Toronto team. He would sign a four-year deal. This is amazing. And all that. Drake actually wanted to get Jermaine Defoe. So anyway, the transfer was huge. Probably marketing, merchandise, and broadcast rights. Defoe was actually loaned back to time for a few more months. But he came back for the season opener in Seattle, scoring both goals as Toronto beat Seattle. So anyway, unfortunately though, that would be the only season he would play for Toronto. In 2015, he would join Sunderland, getting a three-year deal. Actually, it was a player exchange deal. As Josie Altador was sent from Sunderland to TFC. And it actually worked. Altador helped Toronto get to two appearances in the MLS Cup Finals. So, yeah, we lose Jermaine Defoe, but we got Altador. Can't complain. So anyway, he was scored his first Sunderland goal at home against Burnley. He would do quite well. With Jermaine Defoe's first goal of the 2016 campaign, it was he had 15 seasons in the Premier League of scoring at least one goal. And he was actually the top scorer for Sunderland. And would continue his future with Sunderland and all that. But after the 2017 season, he hinted he would leave Sunderland 
and the club was to be relegated. And it was relegated, so he wanted to stay up in the main group. So he went to Bournemouth. Remember, he spent a year on loan from West Ham. During Defoe did his job with Bournemouth, but he would only make eight appearances before being sent to Rangers of the Scottish League on a, on a loan. So he would sign a one-year deal with Rangers to keep him on the club and would actually be coach of the club or be a coach. And then after Steven Gerrard left Rangers for Aston Villa, Defoe was made to be a caretaker for Rangers. But that only lasted a few months before returning there, before departing and returning to Sunderland and announced his soccer retirement. So Jermaine Defoe helped England out in the 2006 FIFA World Cup. All that. So that was huge. He actually was not named to the England squad for the World Cup. He was on a standby list. He was baffled by it. But his bad season led to things. He would actually play in the 2010 World Cup and would score against Slovenia in the, in the goal that actually helped England progress to the round of 16. He would... He would try out for the 2012 Euro squad and didn't really play much except off the bench. 2014 he wasn't put on the roster. So anyway, he is a vegan. Unfortunately his half-brother died of head injuries during an accident and then his father died of lumbar throat cancer by 2012. And it wasn't good and all that. Anyway, he actually had fast friends with a six-year-old fan with neuroblastoma in 2017 and scored a powerful goal. The fan was named Child of Courage and Jimmy DeVoe attended the ad award ceremony, but the kid died two months later, unfortunately. DeVoe was named an OBE, a member of the OBE for his foundation, founded in 2013. So that's good. So with West Ham, Bournemouth, Tottenham, Portsmouth, TFC, Sunderland, and Rangers. He scored 305 goals in 763 career games. And that wasn't bad at all. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.